you've got the two best prospects in, in American basketball at this camp, and that's what makes it a special week. You've got Greg Oden, who I consider to be the, the best center prospect since Shaquille O'Neal, and you've got O.J. Mayo, a junior, who is a, an astonishing point guard prospect. Looking out onto the floor on game day at ABCD, one can see the future of basketball, yet among the stars, two rise above. O.J. Mayo and Greg Oden have earned fame that extends beyond high school basketball. Mayo is just the second sophomore to be named Ohio Player of the Year. The first was LeBron James. Meanwhile, Oden is the gem of an Ohio State recruiting class already considered superior to Michigan's Fab Five. He's tough. I mean, Greg Oden is a very, very good player. I mean, he's athletic, he's big, he hit his shots, he put the ball in the basket. Well, what's really special about him is his attitude. I happened to sit in on three of his classes. He positions himself right in the front in the first row. He maintains eye contact with the teacher the whole time. At the end of all three classes, he went up and thanked the teacher, shook his hand, and you just don't see that. So many kids nowadays have such a sense of entitlement. He's a breath of fresh air. The best player, well, everyone says Greg Oldman, but, um, you know, he's seven foot dominant. No one can stop him, so you say Greg only is the most dominant player, but I think OJ, he has the most skill. As you can tell, like some of the moves he makes are NBA moves right now. OJ, what can you say? I went to uh, AAU Nationals in seventh grade and I saw him, I'm like, dude, that kid's not in seventh grade. He looked like a grown man. Everybody talking about going against OJ Mayo, how they're going to give him, you know, buckets and everything. But it's not going to happen. OJ's real strong, you know. He's gotten to the point now where he can come here and just so obviously be the best player in camp. I mean, everybody talks about Greg Oden because of his size, but if you're talking about who's the best basketball player in camp, there's O.J. Mayo and there's everybody else. Your heart. ask the coaches out there, you know, and, and, and they're a better judge of this than I am, obviously, but he has probably the best shooting range of any kid his size that's out here. When I come to the gym, everybody's like, oh, there's a, there's a shooter, there's a shooter. Um, that's exciting, but I don't want to be labeled, labeled as a three-point shooter. I want to be labeled as a uh, player with uh, many different dimensions in his game. Taylor King is an authentic West Coast basketball prodigy. Two years ago, he joined O.J. Mayo as the only rising ninth graders invited to ABCD. He had absolutely no fear about going to the basket and rebounding and playing against, you know, the, you know, the Dwight Howards and the people like that, you know. Uh, I mean, those, you know, Sebastian Telvar, I mean, those guys didn't know that we, you know, you, we were reading about. And Taylor was out there playing against those guys and he didn't back down and didn't have any fear. I was just like, this is, this is crazy. I'm here with all these great players, and uh, um, I'm only going to be a freshman. And everybody's like, you're too young to be here. I was like, all right, well, you'll see. That summer, at the age of 14, King committed to UCLA, the earliest verbal commitment in college basketball history. But this year, after leading all of Orange County in scoring and rebounding as a sophomore, King withdrew his commitment to the Bruins, choosing to keep his options open. When Taylor was an eighth grader, his style of play is different than his style of play today. He runs more, he's more up and down the court than he was at that particular time. King's decision has renewed a recruiting arms race for one of the nation's most prized prospects, while thrusting King back into the spotlight as one of the most watched players at this year's camp. I'm not done yet. Two years ago, I, and a year ago, I, I performed, and, and um, I want to do that same thing I did this, last year, this year. King's success makes him a target at a camp like ABCD. In a building full of college coaches, a player like King gets his opponent's best effort each time out. His meeting with Lance Thomas proves to be no exception. The two battle from the opening tip, and Thomas's defensive effort proves disruptive for Taylor King. King's shots wouldn't fall as he struggled mightily in the first half. Yeah. 
Keeping King's team alive is the Oklahoma bound tandem of forward Damian James and point guard Scotty Reynolds. The two play ferociously, helping their team claw back into contention. battle between King and Thomas plays out on both sides of the court. Each player has their moment. But Thomas is ultimately too much, and his team bounds to victory. You know, two good, great players, you know, just going at it, you know. You know, Taylor's a real good guy. You know, I like him off the court, but, you know, on the court is business. You know, you got to... You got to go at everybody. You can't make friends on the court. And, you know, uh, we're just playing, you know, trying to go for each other's heads, you know, so, you know, there's no, no, there's no problem between us two, but, you know, on the court, you know, I really don't have any friends. Yeah, I'm just taking the players out. You just come in here, you chill, you know, yeah, you leave your stress, you go get snacks, hang out with your friends and stuff, and then, um, uh, the next day it's back to work. Oh, I'm about to get beat. I've never seen anything so nice in my life. Like six flies of screen TVs. Watch, watch, watch me dip on this punch. I'm not even going to swing. Watch this. Dipping it. Dipping it. This, this camp is the upper scale, man. This is awesome. You're my baby girl. Huh. Treat you like you're a celebrity. You know, go up and party and everything. But when it's time to go to bed, you got to go to bed, get prepared for the next day. Because every day at ABCD camp is a hard day. Man, we be tripping, dog. <laughs> Scotty Reynolds and Damian James played well in the day's loss. The pair has already turned heads at ABCD, finishing the second day of games among the camp's top scorers. Well, I'm a better ball player. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see if you get the ball tomorrow. Oh, you ain't gonna pass me the ball? No. Friends from the AAU circuit, they both committed to Oklahoma, where they're sure to make a modern-day hoops odd couple. You feel me, dog? Oh! Look at, all, look at all your boxes, man. Dang, look at your side of the room. Who eat snacks? You. Who eat snacks? In that door. All that stuff you took. But, dude, chill out, y'all. Don't try to play me like that, man. <laughs> you take yourself back to your mama. Yeah, my homeboy Tom is down. He's bringing some home, man. They, <laughs> they don't get some food stamps to the 15th. Scotty Reynolds is crazy, man. <laughs> Crazy man, he be trying to act like he be trying to act like me until I talk country, you know. See, gotta have a picture of my mama. That's what true love right there, baby. He'll call his mama. And he'll be like, he'll, he'll call him and be like, What's up, mama? Oh, mama, you tripping. I would take my socks off, but I don't want to show y'all my feet. No, I might I might not get no girls. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot, man. He called me on the phone, you know, because he just committed. He was like, yo, I want you, you know, I want you to come to OU. I was like, all right. So then I committed like, you know, a week later, then we just kept talking. And then now we just, we just like real brothers, unfortunately. This, hey, what up? We talking about you. Look, guys, man. How ugly you are. I ain't, hey, I might be, I might be dumb, but I bet I ain't ugly. <laughs> I think it really starts off the court, because that's where you really get your chemistry. That's my boy, he, I, he, he the one passing the ball, you know what I'm saying? He the one get me open and all the, all that good stuff. I'm really excited about the opportunity I had to play with him this week, and um, hopefully that's that's gonna carry on um, next year going into Oklahoma. Hello. I'm I'm doing an interview, man. I'm gonna call you when I leave the interview. All right. See how I go, man. <laughs> 